So hello there. Hello. Um, it is Honey's weekend. Um, and if you click on the video, I'm assuming you know what's happening. So, new monster flavor. Typically, genuinely, I hate monsters, and I think they taste really gross. But my girlfriend got me hooked on these. And you know what I do when I like something? I take it for whatever it's worth. So I'm gonna try to make earrings out of these. Um, and when I make these, I usually try to think of like a topic to talk so talk about as I'm making these. Um, this is talk um, about in-person schooling during quarantine. Um, the reason I do this is because no one takes anything seriously ever. Um, we hate it here. So, <laughs> I live in America, um, for context. So, Papillon? I don't really know. Um, and by the way, this might be really loud, because what I'm trying to try to do first is, I want to, I like these butterfly patterns a lot. I like specifically, like, this one. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. And eventually, I'm thinking about maybe, like, hot gluing the ends of them. Let me figure this out. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. So for right now, I'm just going to turn on my hot glue gun. Just for whenever I'm ready for that. Because eventually, I'm assuming, we'll hot glue something. So if you're looking for a tutorial, this ain't it, Chief. I have my, my earring making kit. Love her. She's going to be very helpful. So to start off, I went back second quarter. Um, I'm a senior this year. Uh, um, pre-warning about to, where should we start cutting? Maybe I should do like, what I think is a good idea. I just need to decide what I do want. So I think we're fine not looking at the transitional facts. Can we agree with that? Okay, so don't do this at home. Please don't do this at home. This is a really bad idea, but I'm kind of in a bad mood. So ha ha ha, we're gonna do something impulsive. So, Nora's warning, this might be kind of scratchy, I don't know. Hey! So, basically, the reason I'm here, hi, it's editing me, is I decided to take all the parts of me, like, cutting up the can outside the video, because editing it gives giving me a headache. So, I'm sure people trying to watch this for entertainment will not enjoy that. Basically, all you missed, I was talking about, blah, 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 whatever, it's not really important, and I just cut up the can so I could have the little butterflies that I'm gonna make into the charms. Thank you, sorry about that. Also took up a lot of the video, and I was like, no one wants to watch me cut up cans for an hour, so I figured it'd be the most, best of both worlds. Thank you. There it is. Oh, I'm so excited, the music turned out so cute. <gasps> Shit. Oh, I forgot to put a little hole in it. Leave a little top part on the top. It's okay. Um, I have two cans, if you can tell. A learning experience because I probably have enough. So we're gonna mess with this. Okay, so I my idea is that maybe I could like poke a little hole right here. This is I don't really know what this is called. Let me show you like how it looks. So there's like a little point here. I think it's for like getting rid of like string or something. My grandma likes to sew and I found this with her shit, but she let me have it. It's helped me quite a few times. So there you go. Can you see that? See there's a little hole there? So that's where I'll put um, the thing the wobber. So there you go. Here's our first one. Um, and let me make this look nicer. But no. Overall, like, I am I am happy to be back in school. Because, because there's parts of school that I do like, you know? Like, I miss seeing my friends, you know? I mean, you can talk to them online, but it's not the same. And I would say overall, I do better learning in person rather than being taught in a meeting. Um, Cause I, I'm kind of a person that needs to be like slowly taught things. Cause I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Um, and I know that's, I know a lot of people have had similar struggles. And that sucks and I'm sorry if you felt like you were having difficulty learning because trust me I understand it it's really does suck um, okay, let me see if I can try to make these. Can I see this better? so I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing 
I'm gonna try to put hot glue over the edges so um like if I wear it like as an earrings don't like scrap the sides of my face when I'm wearing it so I don't know how well you can see this sorry honestly my I, I filmed this on my iPad so I don't have like a nice little camera sorry about that um I work for minimum wage <laughs> oh that was a bad idea <laughs> don't do that um I would like to think that was obvious that would be obvious for most people however I'm I am I am not most people apparently <laughs> I'm quirky uh watch my last video for context on that <laughs> like not I've, yeah so that feels a lot better it's better than if I do this at home yeah so it doesn't need to look perfect I don't expect these earrings to look perfect I just want them because Uh, I probably honestly have homework to do. I got home and I started filming this. Uh, I'm not even done editing the last video, but I've just found it kind of nice to have something to go home and film to, you know? I think it's fun. It's exciting. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to film these videos, but, but no. Either way, I'm getting off topic. Um, if you feel like no one listens to you in your household, then just record yourself on a camera for it works it's like therapy uh get therapy your camera is in therapy you wish it was though doesn't it either way no but once again like i said i it's it's nice to be back but at the same time we're in a pandemic and that's horrifying to me um most likely if i get it i'll be fine but i don't want to get it <laughs> you know what i mean and it's like if i get it for one I don't want to get sick. For one, I don't want to get sick, which I feel like is a fair thing to say. And two, if I get sick, then I might get other people sick. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to accidentally kill people. Sorry, I'm not a fucking psycho. You know what I mean? Like, God, thank you, sir. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Ow, 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 ow. This hurts. No, I'm not gonna do that. Don't. Oh my God, you probably can't even see what's happening. I don't know, I don't know why you're fucking watching this. I'm like crazy grumbling. <laughs> I might just cap half of this shit out. Like, I don't even know. I don't know, it's just kind of fun. Um, but no, doing it in private school is kind of, it sucks, I don't know, because like I said, I don't want to get anyone sick, and that scares me a lot, like, one time, like, I coughed in class, and I felt absolutely horrible, um, because I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what if I'm sick, you know, thankfully, I'm not. I hope not. Um, who knows? My school has most cases in our school district because kids won't wear their masks. So fuck masks, I guess. Here it is. Here it is so far. So it doesn't look the cutest, but that's okay. Also, I made these earrings as well. Um, this is just chain I found off an old necklace. And this is like a little sun and a moon. Just kinda, they're kind of long. And I'm still debating if I like the length or not. I was debating with the right. Because I feel like they're a little too long. But I still like them. And my hair's up. I'm gonna, oh, do you want to do a little fit check? Fit. Okay. Literally, no one cares. It's not even that good of a fit. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got compliments on today, so. Okay. But piece one done. Should I try to cut off other pieces off of this one first, or should I go to the second one? I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to this one. Oh, but no, if you want it, if you're curious about the flavor, for one, I think it tastes really good. So, pre-warning, pre-warning. Ding, ding, ding. Here we are. 
So that's pretty scratchy. Ouchie. I've made monster uh, earrings before, not from the cans though. I've made it from the caps. I might make these. They're kind of cute caps too, I might actually. Usually you have. Honestly, if you're watching this video because you want to like make earrings and stuff, save everything. Like you never know what's going to be a good pair of earrings. I think I saw a different once and I was like, you literally can make anything into a pair of earrings if you have enough imagination and hot glue. And hell yeah. <laughs> it's so true. Because I've made some dice earrings, which if any of you are interested, I'll show you a little tutorial. Um, I think they're cute. I made them out of sparkle dice that I just found laying around my house. Because why not? <laughs> Fuck it, you know? Um, I started making earrings during quarantine because my Pikachu earrings are pretty. <laughs> this is the uh, British version of it. Brit. I don't know how to pronounce British things because I don't fucking. I can't do accents. Either way. Um, yeah. I think this one. Let me look. Let me compare the two. Well, I might compare them after. I'm not sure I have to. So, one of the hot pieces. That's a little, this one's a little bit more bumpy. That's okay. I just, uh, there was a little hole, hole in this one, so I kind of just hot glued the back of it. Um, I might actually just, no, I'm not going to hot glue the back of that. That's a waste of hot glue. Um, but no. Overall, I kind of, very conflicted. I am this year the president of my school's GSA, which, Are you surprised? I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm very thankful for it. Uh, I love doing it. Um, and I think especially this year. Last year I was the vice president. I wasn't the president, but I would still can say like I was in charge, I guess. I don't know. One day I'm considering becoming a teacher. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of nice to have like, I know it's definitely not the same thing, but I don't know. It, being able to might sound bad but like I like having this year especially just having something that I can control you know what I mean I'm trying to see if I can get this one to see and I it is nice having that we've only had one meeting so far we're having another meeting later this week um and hopefully it's going well I've already planned out the whole next meeting um, and soon we're gonna get our officers, our fellow officers. It's just really exciting, honestly. And I just really can't wait for the year. And I, I hope that we can stay online and that stay in person for as long as we can because I know a lot of kids prefer it this way. I'm more neutral. I like pros and cons of both, as I kind of discussed earlier. Um, talking about learning wise, which is the point of school, or should be the point of school, um, I definitely prefer it here, but it was kind of nice, especially with everything having going on that I kind of, when we did online school, I felt like I had more control of my day and felt like I had more time in my day. And especially now that I work, I kind of can fall in the headspace sometimes that I literally have no time ever. So kind of spending half my day at school kind of sucks. But you know, it's sometimes you have to learn that just because something inconveniences you doesn't mean that it should be taken away. Oh, I can think of a few things that relate to that. Usually I'm not this petty. I'm just in a bad mood right now. Like, I don't know. It because of school. School isn't bad. Oh my god. In school you watch this movie another pro about being in person school is that we can watch like movies again in class um but we watched this movie and it was my english class and it was we read this story called the secret life of walter mitty and the story was kind of cool um kind of misogynistic it was about this dude and he just daydreams all the time like he'll be driving he'll be like oh my god i'm the something whatever and i came out the movie with i forgot his name but the only reason I know is because it was in the credits. His name is Ben Stiller. I'm pretty sure he was in the bedtime stories, or he was like that one dude in that one movie. Makes no sense, but I can like picture it in my head. Yeah, didn't he just look like? I don't fucking know. He was bisexual. <laughs> um, I'm turning off my hot glue gun. 
We'll see if we get that choice later. Sorry, I guess I decided to not finish that point. So basically, it was t we watched this movie, and it was very problematic. Like, I was like, like, I looked at the teacher, and I was like, uh, I don't know. It wasn't that bad, but I was like, some of the lines, it was just like, um, no, just don't, don't do that. I don't know, like, it gave me weird vibes, like, really weird vibes. And it had one of those things where it was, like, the main white guy, like, the white savior trope. And everyone was, like, all, especially the girls were, like, stroking his ego the entire time. It made me want to bang my head against the wall. I'm, like, you're thanking him for... Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. It was so some of the some of the cinematography in that movie was cool, but just like some of this like I don't know, weird, just weird. I don't know. Don't watch it unless you want to. But mm. who even cares about Ben Stiller anyway? So sorry you had to say it. So anyway, back to earrings. Here they are currently in their current standpoint. Um, these aren't as cute as I thought they were going to be. And you know what? That's okay. I'm still making them though. I'm going to make them silver. Uh, because the can is silver inside. Here's my little thingies. Ah! I don't think I'm going to upload this one. I was just told that I remind someone of the girl from Megamind. Okay. It's hot. I love the sound of that. I apologize if you don't. I, uh, once again, I got this from Michael's, um, and this is just, um, uh, uh, hair for your eyebrows. I forgot what it's called. I apologize. But I'll show you up close what I do. You can see me. So I go like this. So let's try. Go me, not doing my job, speaking like I should at one of the most important parts. Love that. Uh -huh. First step complete. Let's see how long this lasts. Usually I like to do. I don't forgot. I don't really remember the technical name of them. I either call them like the little hoops or little doodads. Where's my? So I like to do one of like a bigger one and then do like a smaller one and then I do uh, the earrings. Not talking about ones that are dangly. That's a whole different conversation. But kind of go up close while I do this. So you have to. I try to like just picture picture it in my head when I do this part. It's about like where things would go. That's only really the like, advice I could do. Like I said, in my last video, like it's all about practice. Um. I'm trying to say unless when I'm editing the other video, I realize how much I say um. And I feel really bad about it. But okay. Watch, I'll get it wrong. And then I'll, I'll be like, picture picture it. Oh shit, sticking to everything. Oh, look, I got it. I got it. Uh -huh. It's really sideways though, which I guess makes, I guess it doesn't really matter. Come on. Okay. So now, I shouldn't have turned off my hot glue gun. Who would have guessed that I was gonna regret that decision? I sure could have. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Here, this is what it looks like. Oh my god, it's kind of cute. I'm like, let me zoom in. No, I can't zoom in. I guess I'll just get closer. I think they're kind of funky. I don't like it. I don't know how often I'll wear these. Let me let me look on my phone camera. Oh, I just the reason that I wanted to make these so bad is because I love the color of them. I think these cans are just so beautifully designed. Don't do this. Don't do this. Just like the color coordination of them all. Stunting. Just genuinely just stunning. So now, watch as I make a bad idea. This is just so it's stay in the place more, preferably. I guess that's the point of what I'm trying to do. So these are ugly, and I kind of love that about them. So let me see. I need something to stick this in. Hello, fries bag. And you can also kind of see it. Oh, kind of. This is my dresser. This is so me. 
makeshift. <laughs> Hi guys. Ew, Shane Dawson. Oop, sorry. Uh. <laughs> this is so funny. It's not, but I think it is. Oh my gosh. But no, doing in-person school is frustrating. Uh, I'm not doing a very good job of staying on topic. Uh, ADHD. Uh, I just think if you are going to complain about going to in-person school, then you need to follow the guidelines. That poorly will let me re-explain. I'm sorry, I'm bad at talking. So basically what I meant by that is like, of course, you have such a valid right to complain about online school. It sucks. It sucks for everyone. But I mean by that, if you're going to be one of the people pressuring like schools to make us go back in person, even though we're in a <clears throat> pandemic, then you should be the ones who are most be like, woo, making sure everyone follows the guidelines. Because if you guys can't follow the guidelines, then we can't do on the in-person school. Do you see what I'm trying to say? But ironically, it's the people who tend to not follow the guidelines who are the ones who are very, like, anti-online. You know what I mean? I'm not saying, like, people who complain of saying people want to demand we immediately go back in person because screw it, you know? That makes more sense, hopefully. About going back to school. Because... If you make it so all these people are being forced back and put at risk, then I would at least hope you would have enough human decency to make sure everyone's safe who's coming back. So, that's that on that. Right. My thing broke off. Uh, does that, so I'm going to have to remake a whole. Uh. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, so this one looks kind of bad, and that's okay, because we're just kind of rolling with it. Uh, where is my sh So, but overall, in-person school, uh, it freaks me out. Uh, there's lunchtime, which they should have lunchtime, because, duh. <laughs> However, I'm not... When I say, I say this knowing that I know there's n no other solution. But at lunchtime, everyone eats, so everyone takes off their masks. And that constantly freaks me out. I don't eat lunch there. I take my, I don't take my mask off. Um, the only time I guess you could say I take my mask off is when I drink water, but my water bottle has like a little like straw thing in it so I go like here's my mask cover the nose and I do it quickly um, and I'm not saying don't eat at school because you need to eat children I don't feel comfortable doing it so I don't and I'm not saying you're a bad person that you eat lunch I'm saying how I personally I can argue that a bad person that you take off your mask during the middle of class, but it's very different circumstances. And I understand you need to either way. Uh, sorry, I'm back. I just had to do something really quick. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I was talking about like masks and stuff. Uh, just wear your mask whenever you can. Like, you sh should be able to at most points in the day. Um, and if you honestly just need a breather, at least at my school, just ask your teachers like, hey, can I step outside really quick? So you can either go in the hallway or preferably you go outside away from people, at least six feet, um, and just, just wear it whenever you can. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. And I know some people feel like it, for glasses wearers, I sympathize with you. So thank you for wearing it because I would say like you guys have the fogs of your glasses. I'm sorry about that. I know how much that, I'm sure that sucks a lot. Um, but I ask of you guys to continue to wear them no matter because, oh, 
well, I feel like the obvious is, the reason is obvious why I would ask you to. Either way, um, not here to be the moral police, but just wear your masks, please, and thank you. So I just got this one in, and now I'm just going to re- put this one on. Um, I already did this beforehand, but I just needed to redo it again because it fell off. I'm basically almost done. Um, I don't know. Just follow COVID guidelines. Just stay safe and just keep your mask on. Like, that's all I can really ask. Um, I'm sure you, if you're watching this video, you for a few things, maybe. Um, if you're there because you want to keep it, if you want to keep in school, even if you don't want to, just keep with COVID, man. No, don't keep with COVID. Keep with the COVID guidelines. Because you never know. You know, and we like to pretend that everything will be fine. It doesn't matter. It does. I mean, you could try to pretend like it doesn't, but it still does at the end of the day. And people could get hurt because of your ignorance. And that's not good. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to see if there's any more of the monster that I want. This is going to be a long-ass video. I'm not going to unplug it because I might this before. Um, warning. I kind of like those orange ones up here, too. So, these are our testers. They're drying right now. <laughs> if you are a worry... I would I don't ever worry words. I don't know. You have a valid reason to worry. Um, and you want advice about being in person school, especially if you're in a situation where you feel uncomfortable. Because I would even say more than COVID. Like, the revolution is happening currently. Um, and if you feel, just for no matter the reason, if you feel uncomfortable with your school, I'm so sorry to hear that. You are so valid. Um... I wish you were in a better place, and I wish that one day you feel like you're in a better place because no one deserves that shit. Um, you will find a better place, even if it doesn't feel like it. You are valid. You know yourself better than anyone else could ever know you, so never let anyone else tell you who you are because you know who you are. I just wish you guys the best of luck because I know how scary it is, and if you're, even if you're in person school, I'm so sorry. I mean, if you're in online school, I'm still so sorry because I'm sure that isn't fun. Uh, I was in it. I know it's not fun. It sucks. Um, and at the moment, there's not really a lot we can do about that. The only thing we can do about that is do our best to stay clear of the COVID guidelines. Um, it's shown to have help. Uh, right now, cases are, cases are rising. Um, but that's because um, first of all, people are, have started laxing up on the regulations everywhere, um, because things are getting better, and also just the time of year it is, I'm about to do this, like, this is just a natural time for, like, disease to spread. There's not really much we can do about it besides do our best to stay safe. Don't go to parties. Please don't go to parties. Do not, do not, even if masks. Preferably masks. Here's the one, what the orange one looks like so far. Okay, so here's the first one done. So here we are. I just, I just really worry about everything, um, a lot. <laughs> and I think going back to in-person school was kind of the last thing I wanted to do. Um, just even seeing people like. As much as I miss seeing people, like, it's hard to see people again. Not even just, like, you're, not even just people you hate, which, I, I made my own little image in my head where everyone is a decent human being. God, that that's very far from the case. Um, I just to see and face people and just deal with it. It's just tiring. It's just honestly really tiring. Just, like, existing is tiring right now, which... Amen to everyone else in the chat. Um, it's just... I know all this has been said before, but it's just... Not having any control sucks. Like... Um, I'm a senior this year. Um, 
and this is gonna sound very privileged and I apologize, but I was really bummed that my prom got canceled this year and it's last year and it's probably gonna get canceled this year. Of course, I'm not gonna riot for it to come back open. Priorities, you know, but like I, I am kind of bummed about that because I feel like a lot of people really were like, prom's gonna be the best thing ever. And then, like, it kind of sucks that I most likely won't be able to experience it. Um, because honestly, if there is a prom, I most likely won't go to it. With how things are looking, if by the time prom happens, there's some miracle cure and everything's good, I would go. Maybe. Mm, let's be honest, maybe I wouldn't. If things were safe, and I felt like they were safe, I would go. But when kids at my school can't even put on their masks, like things aren't gonna get better unless you follow the guidelines. You would think it'd be common sense for people, but it's not apparently, so. Woohoo. Let's start gluing this. And I understand not liking masks. Masks can kinda suck. No duh. Um, but, like I said this earlier in the video, your personal this has mostly just been me complaining about people not wearing their mask which i feel like is fair also we have this like stupid hallway policy like i'm if you couldn't tell i'm very pro guideline because we're in a pandemic we have this like weird policy in the hallways and someone educate me maybe i'm just not fully educated on this topic but like they make it so we like all have to like walk like follow these arrows in the hallway and we can't go down certain hallways or whatever or we can't go through certain doors so I like I see what they're trying to do but it just like crowds the hallways even more which honestly I feel like if they were trying to go for safety wouldn't they try to like keep people as separate as possible you know what I mean maybe I'm crazy but I just I feel like that was kind of silly maybe once again please educate me if maybe i'm just misinformed i don't they i think they said the reason was because of it would hurry up hallway times or i don't know i feel like that's not true though because it just literally just makes it so it takes 10 years longer which you would think you would want people to stay in the hallways longer and you would think you would want people more separated i don't know there's probably some valid reason why that's a thing, but I just, I can't think of it. Also, garter masks, those things, they don't work. They make it worse. Um, and maybe you don't know that, but that is the case. So, if you own a garter mask and you're wearing it instead of a mask, stop doing that. Because it does not help. Look it up. And it's actually not even good to put your mask under your chin like that, from what I've heard. I don't know. I just, it just makes me really sad and scared if people can't even wear their masks. You know, like, just like, it's such a easy thing to do. And of course there's reasons why people are more whatever, whatever, whatever. But like for the majority of people, it's not an issue. You're just annoyed. Which, come on, you know? It's like, we're all annoyed. You're not special. We're just doing it because you realize that sometimes gotta do what you gotta do and normally I'm like don't do things that you don't want to do however we're talking about a pandemic so I just feel like we need to get our shit together because we only care about ourselves here which, I mean, of course, it's not everyone, but that's a lot of people. 
I don't want when I'm talking about stuff like this to be like, oh, I'm just a moral compass. I'm not. I don't consider myself to be. I like to think that I have good values and I try to respect everyone. Um, but I'm no moral compass. It's just so easy with the answers. It's not a dilemma. Like, it's not the train question. I know y'all probably have heard of that. If you haven't, it's like some like moral dilemma. Um, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is, the answer is so simple. Duh. People are just are like, nope, I do not see it. And it's just frustrating and it's saddening. Ah, there's so much string everywhere. Uh, me and Hawk Blue aren't friends, and that's okay. But we aren't. I don't know. Try to think of other things. I don't really have as much to talk about with this topic as I did the last one because it's just kind of. I don't know. I don't really feel like I have much to say. The football games, I don't go to them. But I never did in the first place, so that wasn't like a struggle for me. Even if there was, I probably wouldn't go to them because I don't really care about sports. I see the appeal. Just at the moment, I'm not interested just because I don't find them interesting. Um, our teachers are more strict on seating charts because oh, I guess I could talk about like the what happens if someone does catch COVID. Or something else. Um, they're really strict on seating charts, which I feel like is fair because when at my school personally, when someone catches COVID confirmed, um, they quarantine like all the deaths, not all of them, but I forgot how far they reached, but they like quarantine the deaths around them and then they are gone for like two weeks um, and they come back. Uh, at the beginning of the year, they were, I don't know, the beginning of the year, when anyone who came back, like they did they were not helping those kids who got re-quarantined back because the teachers, rightfully so, I'm not yelling. Once again, when I talk about teachers and stuff, I'm never attacking the teachers. The teachers are just doing their jobs. Um, and they're, most of them. And they're trying to do their best. I am not one to overall hate on a teacher. Uh, my aunt's a teacher. I want to be a teacher. I... I feel like I try to be very fair when it comes to teachers because they do so good. They do their best. And there are some teachers I hate. I'm not saying like all teachers are saints because hell no. I've had so many shitty teachers. I'm not talking about those teachers. I'm just talking about like overall in general. You know, there you've, I would hope you've at least had one, one teacher you felt like was good. Maybe you haven't, but I'm sorry if you have not feel that way. Oh, I don't, I think I like how these turned out better, but it's fine. But yeah, so they quarantined everyone around him, which I feel bad, because at first they really didn't really try, because once again, teachers can, can't really teach a class, but then also teach a class of kids on Google Meet. Some of my teachers now just, like, have the Google Meet on, and if kids want to, they can join. Like, during? In-person class hours. They can just join on Google Meet. Which is fine and dandy. Um, some teachers do, some teachers don't. I don't know what teacher, honestly. Like, at the moment, my drawing and teach painting teacher always did, or at least she did the longest out of my class, all my classes. And my math teacher, because we just, we're having a lot of kids out right now. Because there's a lot of cases at my school right now. Wonder why. <laughs> There's just a lot of kids. And it's scary, honestly. There's not really much I could do about it. I guess I could yell at kids to put on their mask, but they don't listen. The kids who aren't wearing their masks, generally, are the ones that aren't taking it seriously. Shit happens. I think, overall, it's fair to say, at this point in time, if you're not wearing a mask consistently, then you're just an anti-masker. I think if you're anti-masker, you're silly. Um, and I feel like it's pretty obvious the reason why. Uh, but no, 
teachers don't really take us seriously. Well, some of them do. Like, it depends on the teacher. We always, we're supposed to use hand sanitizer every single time I walk in, you walk in. Teachers don't really enforce it. Well, some one of my teachers does. Um, majority of them don't. I always try to. Sometimes I forget to, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I try to. And I keep hand sanitizer in my bag. Um, wash your hands for 20 seconds. That's good. I'm trying to think what else is like new. Um, the lunchroom is like sitted differently. Like they only have like, like you can only really sit in like certain spots. Well, not really certain spots, but yeah, they like, um, I guess you could say that. They like mark the seats. Maybe I'll take a picture of it tomorrow to like explain my point. If I did, then. It's been multiple days since I filmed this video. And I'm not gonna lie, I do not remember at all. It, whoop, whoop, out of my brain, sorry. Just imagine, so they have like some booths on the end, only two people can sit on the booths. And then the rest are just like long tables, like like this, and only like two people can sit up per table. And but they're all like in a big line. So there's a hole right there. That's the best. <laughs> That's what you're gonna get. I'm sorry. If I didn't, then <laughs> just got me looking blankly at the camera for three seconds. It's weird to remember time being. This is gonna sound really weird. I'm curious if anyone else had similar reactions, like seeing people like in movies and stuff or like shows or whatever not wear masks like it freaks me out like even in like tv shows when people like people, my first reaction was like why aren't people wearing the mask and i was like oh because <laughs> this was the time before before it exists so i don't do it because it's a fucking movie which is really weird so i have experience uh something else that i've experienced uh being in quarantine the pandemic is uh, i care more about hand sanitizer than i ever thought i would would which, honestly, I feel like to say that, like, I think it's good that, like, even if this is all over, I think it'd probably be a good idea when people are sick to genuinely just, like, learn how to wear a mask. Because just, even if we're not talking about a pandemic, just, like, I don't want to go to people sick. I feel like might be some people won't just be, <laughs> but some of this is done, they might just be sick of it. But I just think overall that's, like, a good, that's, in other countries they do that. Asia, right? I feel like it's just kind of like a good rule of thumb. And I think overall, I think in our country, we just need to learn to care more about other people's safety. Okay, I'm almost done. I'll probably make another video about this just because I feel like I didn't really plan what I had to say. I just kind of was like, oh, well, it's my everyday now, so I should know. But I feel like I just kind of went on all about masks for a while, which I mean, I think is one of the bigger parts, so I mean, it's a valid thing to talk about, but I kind of wish to talk about more, but I don't really know at the moment what to talk about, so we'll see. Maybe we'll do a part two. But either way, I'm going to let this dry, so let me show you, well, let me clean up first, and then I'll come show you how it ended up looking like. I'll be right back. Bye! I hope this kind of gave you a little bit of insight. I know it was kind of all over the place, but whatever. I was mostly just trying to make earrings. But no, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, expect to hear from me again soon, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking of some other video and ideas. Uh, I might, maybe on another video. Not today. I'm kind of done today. Maybe. There's a whole other side of, like, stuff on the day. Maybe I'll make more from this. Maybe I'll just get new cans entirely and redo them. We'll see. Okay. Let's try on the earrings, which I'm very excited about. So, I'll start with the first pair we did, which is these butterflies Ooh. Ooh. okay yeah oh I kind of like I kind of turn a lot which is fine um if you're gonna do this after me I recommend like even if it's not hot glue the hot glue kind of looks weird so maybe try to think of something besides hot glue but it does make it so it doesn't hurt which is why I did it and you can't really tell unless you're like close which who really cares uh, the back some here. I'll turn around. Can you see me? You look so incredibly stupid right now. You probably can't even see me. But no, I'm actually really happy with how these came out. I think they look super cute. Sorry, my lighting's probably horrible all the time. No. Ignore my chin. <laughs> 
So no, I'm happy with how these came out. There's my ending making kit. And then let me try the other ones on. I'm gonna, and here are the ones that we just made. Oh, did I make these wrong? Damn, I made this wrong. We're just gonna ignore that for right now. No, actually, I'm gonna redo it right now. Also, bug me. I just a quick easy fix. I'll be right back. I probably won't record this. I think these came out a little bit more rusty, but I feel like I was trying to be less careful with them. Or maybe these look better. Uh, ooh, I actually really like these as well. I thought. Oh, yeah, I did it for both of them. What am I doing? Be right back. See how these look? Hold this little stringy. Yeah, I think they turned out super cute. I mean, these definitely aren't perfect, but. I mean, you said they're gonna look up perfect. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. Um, you're valid, you're incredible, and I hope you have an amazing day today, and I hope you enjoy.